everybody. So I have a bag of assorted Barbie doll clothes that I got at a thrift store uh, near here called St. Francis Thrift Store and it was $2.99 for this whole bag so I decided to give it a try. You never know with these kind of things if it's going to be hit or miss if the stuff is going to be in good shape or not but whenever I see a bag of doll clothes like these and they're reasonable priced I normally get it just in case there's something in it that I really want. So let's go ahead and take a look, see what is in it. And uh, I could tell this was in it, which I already have this shirt actually for Barbie. So I'll probably be putting this in a lot of Barbie clothes that I'll be selling on eBay, which you guys can check out on my eBay if you want to. The link is in the video description. But that one I definitely won't be keeping. And let's see what else is in here. This looks like kind of like a Mexican Spanish either maybe a shawl or a blanket I'm not sure not entirely sure what I'll do with that and then this isn't for Barbie but I guess it's just a girl's accessory that got stuck in here it's a, like a little green flower which is kind of cute so I might stick that in a lot of stuff I sell on eBay too and then let's go ahead and we have I think I'm not sure is that I'm not sure if it's actually a belt or a crown but either way that's really cute I like that I think it's a crown but I'm not positive but cool accessory I'll definitely use that so I'll probably definitely be keeping that and then we have this little dress which I've seen before but I don't happen to have it but now I do so that's cool and it looks like it's in good shape so definitely will be keeping that uh, let's see, I have this little dress, which uh, I guess it's like a blue dress with these uh, silver parts. And I may just cut off the silver parts like here and just have it like that. And I mean, it still has straps on the blue part, so I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But other than uh, maybe cutting off the ends of the uh, silver cords, if I decide not to wrap those around her neck, then... That's in good shape, so I definitely will be keeping that. And then, definitely will be keeping this. This is adorable. It's a little SpongeBob Barbie top, so definitely keeping that. No question about it. That is cute. I love that. And then, I'm not much into the princess dresses, and it looks like some of those are in here, so we'll we'll think about that. But um, I think I may already have a like an Olympic star medallion like this. Uh, I'll have to check and see, but I think I may have one. And then we have this, which not entirely sure what that's supposed to be. If it's just a Barbie blanket or what, but got that. And then, ooh, like I was saying, I'm not a huge fan of like the huge princess dresses, so a lot of these may end up in. Uh, lots that I sell on eBay, but this one's actually kind of cute. I might, I don't know. I, I doubt I'll keep it, but it is kind of cute. It's like obviously probably a Christmas dress, a Barbie Christmas dress, and it's very uh, elaborate, one of those more elaborate dresses like that they used to make for the dolls. And then we have uh, another holiday dress, and this is just the skirt part, I think, but it looks like, yeah, it's like the skirt part and it has this huge bow on it. And then on this side, it has this like Christmas snowflakey thing and it has this red tool on it. And I bet that's really pretty on. Like I said, I don't know if I'll keep it because I'm just not that much into the big princess dressy stuff, but we'll see. And then we have this dress, which is really cute. I like that with the little star here. And it's got like a little white stripe and has some uh, little shoulder things. It does have a little bit of a black mark on it. I'm not sure what that's from. I'll have to see if I can maybe get that out. I'm not sure if anybody knows how to remove. It may be marker marks. I'm not sure if anyone knows how to remove that type of stuff from Barbie clothes. Let me know because I do like this piece and would like to keep it. And then we have, okay, like this little uh, negligee-like piece for Barbie which I'm guessing that this part like either probably wraps, well, I don't know. I'm not sure if it wraps around her neck or what, but that's cute. I like that. And let's see, a big Barbie wedding dress. 
which looks like it's actually in really good shape. You don't find a lot of Barbie wedding dresses anymore, but I'm not sure if I'll keep that or not. Like I said, just not that much into the big princess dresses, but this is an excellent shape and it's really pretty. So I don't know. I may keep that one. Not sure. And then not sure what this is to, if anybody knows. I'm not sure if it's even Barbie or if it's like, I don't know. It looks like maybe something that like a, maybe something that a baby was in. Maybe it almost reminds me of like a stork. Like, you know, the storks carry the bundles of babies. So maybe, maybe it was from a Barbie if there was like a stork. <laughs> Barbie delivering babies or something. I'm not sure, but not sure what that's to. And then we have this dress which is really pretty. I like this a lot. It's really cute. I love the pink and the black. It is a little bit frayed though, which is the only bad thing. As you can see, it's got some definite fraying like on the sides here and stuff. So that kind of sucks. So I'm not sure if I'll keep that or not, but it's a pity because that's in, it's such pretty. So pretty. And then let's see, we have, uh, I think this is like a bouquet that Barbie would hold in her hand and like I think there's yeah there's a thing here that you can like put around her hand so this probably goes with the wedding dress so if I do end up selling the wedding dress I'll probably sell that as a pair then a couple more or a few little things we have this little white bag which I wonder if that goes with the wedding dress too because it kind of looks like it might so we have that and then we have this just random hat, I guess. Kind of like a Barbie hat, but it's got a stain, so that's not in the best shape. Uh, this is really cute. It's like a Barbie Santa dress. Uh, it does have some wear, definitely has some fraying, and especially right here, maybe I could fix that. Might be able to sew that up some, but it is cute. It reminds me a lot of the dresses they wear on, uh, what's that movie? Uh, Mean Girls, when they do the Jingle Bell Rock thing. And then I brought something, so let me grab that. We have a little pair of shorts, which I'm not sure if those are for Barbie or if they're Skipper or Stacy size. I'm not positive, but those are cute. I like those okay. So out of this, probably the ones that I'll definitely keep are just a small handful. Um, so that I'll probably definitely keep. I'm not sure about the wedding dress. Um... I'm not sure about this. I would keep it if it was in better shape, but since it's not, I don't know. And uh, I'm not sure if I'll keep this either, but it is cute. But not not too bad overall. I mean, I probably would have spent like a buck or two alone on the SpongeBob top because I really do love that. That's just so cute. And uh, these dresses, I mean, if I bought them new, they'd be, you know, a couple bucks each. So for like two something, it's not really too bad, but it was kind of disappointing that there wasn't more in good shape, I guess, but not too bad overall. I did find a few pieces that I like, and so I guess it was worth getting, and it was fun to go through. So I that's it for today. I just wanted to show you guys this. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later. Bye.